well. Well, hello, uh, Birch Church High School and, uh, and the folks at Let's Talk Science. I read you loud and clear. Greetings and welcome aboard the International Space Station. Students at Airdrie's Burt Church High School received an out-of-this-world science lesson from an orbiting Canadian astronaut, Chris Hadfield. It's really important for them to feel connected to a person, to see how important science and technology is to our everyday lives, and to be able to relate to it. He, he explains things in such an easy, understandable way that you really start to see how important science is in each and every one of our lives. Students were excited to ask the Canadian astronaut questions during a 20-minute video uplink. I'm excited but very nervous at the same time. I think it's it's a cool experience, but it's also it's very whoa. <laughs> I think Mr. Hatfield is doing a good job. Um, if he's going up there risking his life, I think that's pretty brave. Hatfield, who had just been promoted to the commander of the space station, told students of the neutron radiation research he was undertaking. He's doing his best to share the personal aspect of spaceflight through the, the Twitter photos, through the, through the Twitter feeds. Um, and so what he's trying to do is, is the same thing, inspire the next generation, uh, share the personal aspects of this tremendous privilege that we have to fly in space. Hatfield also took some time out to show off some of the Canadian snacks that had been sent to him by rocket. Salmon pate, some Canadian chocolate, uh, look at this, a tube, a tube of maple syrup. Which, uh, uh, the next big adventure is off to an asteroid or off to Mars, and it's very probable that uh, there could be a Canadian on that first crew that heads off to, to Mars. And one of them could be sitting in here in this gym today, who knows? So I think that it made my feeling of science a little bit more important, and I'll probably be paying attention in class just a tad bit more. <laughs> Students were encouraged by Hadfield to delve further into science as a way to boost the Canadian economy. For Sun News, this is Bill Kaufman.